As the saying goes, a woodworker is only as good as his drawers. Okay, I made that up, but I have had this outfeed table for a while now and love the storage it provides. That said, the drawers are just piled full with no real organization. So today, I will tackle this vertical drawer to finally give some of my handheld power tools the permanent home they deserve. I start by removing the drawer and laying out the tools to find a configuration where they will all fit and be accessible. Once I'm happy with that, I can start coming up with holders for each tool. Each holder is made mostly with various scraps of plywood, and they don't need to be anything elaborate. Pieces are glued and nailed when necessary, then squared and marked to drill holes. Of course, this one falls right where the drawer slide is, so I'll have to remove those first. The bracket is clamped in place, then I drilled countersunk holes through the back of the cabinet and secured it with screws. For the jigsaw, I marked its position, then made a little tray that the sole of the saw will fit into. For small parts like this, I like to use PVA wood glue in addition to a dab of CA glue and accelerator to hold it in place while the PVA glue dries. After fumbling around with clamps trying to keep things from shifting around, I realized I could use CA glue to easily tack parts down before placing a clamp and drilling holes. This worked much better and I used this method for most of the parts going forward. Next up, I'll make a cutout in this piece of plywood for the blade and guard to fit down into so the sole plate of my circular saw can rest flat. After marking out the area I want to remove, I set the table saw depth to my line and use my crosscut sled to support the workpiece as I cut a relief on each end of the section to be removed. I can then quickly finish the cut with a jigsaw. After that I cut a couple of triangles to use as support brackets under this shelf. Parts get a quick sanding to soften the sharp edges and everything can be assembled and fastened in place. Three tools mounted so far and I like how it's looking. I will use the belt clips on the oscillating multi-tool and the drywall rotary cutter to hang them inside the door. For this hanger, I will use a method I've used before for my tape measures on my tool wall. To make the hanger, I use a strip of brass that can be picked up at most hardware stores. Brass is a soft enough metal that can be safely cut using wood cutting tools. Just take it slow and be sure to wear eye protection as little bits of metal tend to fly all over. After drilling mounting holes, I glue small blocks to the brass to hold it off the wall. In hindsight, I could have glued the blocks onto the brass first and then drilled holes in both parts at once, but I guess that would have been too easy. Lastly, more of the same to make a tray for my palm sander. As always, I took care to measure the location before drilling holes and securing it with screws. Although it may look like it, this is not an advertisement for Rigid and I have no affiliation with the company. I was originally enticed by their lifetime service agreement and bought a set of drills, then stuck with their system as I already had the batteries. I think their tools are fine and have served me well but I'm sure there are better ones out there. A final check to see how everything fits, and bingo! 
I'll have to say it feels really good to have a place for these tools. When I designed this outfeed table, I had ideas for what would go in each drawer, and it's nice to see that plan finally coming together, even if it is just one drawer at a time. And each little project like this gets me closer to my goal of everything having its place and easy to access. But don't worry, there is plenty of organization left to do in my shop, so there won't be a shortage of available content anytime soon.